wrong with your face? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 23rd episode of Good Bad or Bad Bad, the show where we watch terrible movies and tell you if you should too. I am your host, Brian Shilgo. I am joined, as always, the one, the only, Kyle motherfucking Fonz. Hey. <laughs> This episode we watched and are going to talk about a classic film of late 90s cinema. Classic piece of late 90s cinema. <laughs> Anaconda. Anaconda. I somehow missed watching this movie in its entirety. How... I'd seen bits and pieces. I, but... I, I, I feel like you missed out a Cause lot. <laughs> it did, because this came out right in my wheelhouse of when I loved movies like this. Like, The Mummy is like my favorite movie of all time, and it came out right out a couple years after this. It looks to me like I've got all the horses! Hi, Benny! Looks to me like you're on the wrong side of the river! A lot of those late 90s ch cheesy action fun movies. Now, this one is not good. Spoiler. It is not a good movie. I think it's... Are, I, I, I'm going to to make to just reinstate this throughout this review. This is a major motion yes. picture. This is... Which is astonishing. This... I should have looked up the budget. This is... $45 million? I, I bet most of that went yeah. to paying the cast. Because the cast is pretty fantastic. But... Because it's... it's it, as you're watching it, it's so... Like, this is a, the, a worse than a sci-fi original. Like, those mid-90s sci-fi originals. Well, to be fair, all of its sequels <laughs> are direct to TV. Yeah, yeah like sci-fi originals. <laughs> let's, let's set out this cast first, because, oh man, God. they got themselves a hell of a cast. Oh, yeah. J J Lo Jennifer Lopez in the peak of her power, uh, is the lead. Mm -hmm. uh, she's the director of, of nature, a documentary director. Her big chance. Is her chance big to break. make it. This is her chance for her big break. Uh, Eric Stoltz. Oh God, not Marty McFly. Not Marty McFly, as I called him as I watched the whole movie. That first decision was to go with Eric Stoltz. We shot for five weeks with Eric. He was totally professional, but. There was just something missing. Cause I don't remember. I don't, I'm trying to think what else I've seen Eric Stoltz in, and I don't. It's it's all right if you don't remember seeing him in this movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not many people do. No, it's also great. He's second build. He's like never in the movie. <laughs> He's like, it's fantastic. Uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube is he was my favorite part of the movie. Oh yeah, and he uh. Yeah, he's in it. Uh, Owen Wilson. Wow. 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 That's a big snake. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's in this movie. Uh, John Voight. Holy shit. Who, God. Uh, John Voight's incredible. And he, he, I say Ice Cube was my favorite part of the movie. That's just because it's so obvious that the best part of this movie is John Voight being an insane person. Yes. Uh, that, yes. So John Voight and then, uh, Danny then Trejo. Danny was, Trejo uh, makes an appearance in the very beginning for yep, 30 seconds. Yep. And then, uh, John, uh, no, Jonathan Hyde, Jonathan Hyde, uh, or as I lovingly refer to him as the Egyptologist. No! You must not read from the book! Or Cadbury or, <laughs> or Robin, Robin Williams, Williams is dad. <laughs> yeah. And the, the, uh, uh the... Jumanji. Yeah, Who's hey, the, he's the hunter. He's the African, yeah, the yeah, hunter, the hunter uh, or the safari hunter guy. What are you, uh, some kind of <laughs> mailman? <laughs> you some sort of mailman? <laughs> You're not a postal worker, are you? So yeah, so the cast is incredible, but the movie is hot garbage, with yes. absolutely zero. They, it's there's not even. I refuse to believe somebody wrote a script that is this movie because it's not even things just kind of happen. Like the premise is let's go on an expedition to find this tribe. John Voight's here. Snakes! Everybody dies. Like that. Is, yeah, that's, no, that's literally it. I mean, it's like. That's literally there's it. There's no. It's it's so fucking stupid. I, I found myself going like, I did, this is dumb. And you know, and you know ugh, another thing I noticed about it that I, I don't often even pay attention to a lot of times in movies, but it was so obvious by how much it was lacking. 
Not a single character in this movie has anything remotely resembling a character arc. Not yes. even the slight, not anybody. I mean, maybe Ice Cube. Ice Cube and Jonathan Hyde with their relationship. Yes, you Jonathan Hyde does. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan Hyde a little bit because he's kind of like a pretentious dick in the dick bag in the beginning. But then he kind of like, you know, saves the and day. Then, and then he teaches Ice Cube how to drive a riverboat and, and he dies. Riverboat, and then he dies. Take us back to crisp sheets and hot showers. The playoffs in a six pack. Aiden holds a golf from a quadruple gin and tonic. LA traffic and my cellular phone. Don't stop. Like, our main character, Jennifer Lopez, has no. Nope. And she doesn't even get. She does not. If she's our main character, spoilers, she doesn't even kill the snake in the end. Nope. <laughs> That's so stupid. She kills one of them. She does. She does shoot the one, the first one. That's right forgot about that but like the big moment at the end like oh this thing fucking ice cube yeah. all right fine mm. so it starts with an opening little crawl about anaconda oh my god this is so dumb which is all false every bit of information in that thing i'm like 99 sure is if, false. if this if you were basing any of it, like the beginning of this it just sets precedent for the entire film. Yes. Because nothing about the snake that they have on there is, true. is remotely no, true. Not even a little bit. They're like the most fearsome predator on the planet. Well, it's a big snake and they're cool, but like, no. <laughs> there's like way better predators than the anaconda. Too. There's a little thing that says or there's a thing that says, they're so fucking ruthless, they'll they'll puke up their prey just so they can eat it again. False. Nope, they don't do that. I mean, they do regurgitate their food, but when snakes do that, it's not so they can like eat it again and watch it suffer again. Mostly so they can get away from it. Yeah, so they can run away from shit. Yeah. <laughs> like that's why they that's why they puke shit up. They don't do it to be like, Haha, now I get to eat you again and watch you suffer snakes. <laughs> Come on, movie. Okay, fine. Oh, tagline for this film. If you can't breathe, you can't scream. That's true. That's a true sentence, movie. <laughs> <laughs> that is an accurate <laughs> sentence. If you can't breathe, you cannot scream. That That's doesn't most, help this film no, 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 at all. No. I love, it's like, there's nothing better. So the movie gets going uh, after that opening crawl about anacondas and how crazy and awful they are. There, it, it, op <laughs> it cuts to credits, opening credits. And I'm like, ooh, there's nothing that gets me more ant for a movie than five minutes of slow panning shots of water. Just the camera panning side to side yeah, over the yeah. top of water. I'm like, uh. it's not even anything going on. Just water, water, water. Oh, look, some tr some leaves, water, and then Danny Trejo. <laughs> and we meet Danny Trejo, who is uh, in, like, a little hut in the Amazon on, on the river yeah, or something yeah. like that. He's, he, it looks like he's trapping monkeys, right? Yeah, he has, like, well, it looks like well, he's, like, a trapper or, yeah, or well, an we, animal We know trader. he's a poacher, and we know he's a, he's a poacher just right into this with John Boyd and Mateo. Is that picture in the very beginning? I think that's with, with, with Mateo, John it Boyd, is. and Danny Trejo. It is, but I don't think we see that picture until later. Until later, but the, that's what Danny Trejo's doing. There. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, but we don't originally, we don't initially know that John Boyd yeah. was working with him. So we we'll figure that out later. Danny Tre By the way, Danny Trejo's, his, his, his speaking English is about four octaves, like lower than him speaking Does Spanish. Does he speak anything? In oh, yeah, because he calls for help yeah, or something like that. But, like, like his voice is so much higher in Spanish than in yeah, English. It's bizarre. Oh, oh, oh. It gets right into it with, this, with the nonsense. When the snake starts knocking the floorboards oh, yeah. and the nails fly <laughs> up into the air and hang in midair oh, in front of his face. Lord, I was like... so dumb. <laughs> I, like, I knew what we were on board, what we were getting ourselves into already. So then he, uh, they're like, you know what? what? What should we do right away? Let's just rip off Jaws immediately. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I say rip off Jaws, but he climbs the mast of the mast or whatever, the antenna of this thing, and is hanging there with his gun, and then he shoots himself. <laughs> Anaconda. <laughs> yeah. And then the movie begins. So then we meet our 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 team, our ragtag crew. Yeah. Uh, we meet J Lo and all of them at their hotel in the Amazon as they prepare for their expedition. Hotel. Ex yeah, as they prepare for their exposition to go find a the sir, 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 sriracha tribe. 
<laughs> Sriracha. No, I can't, can't remember what they're called. It's but they're, delicious and spicy. Yeah. I mean, they're trying to find some uh, hidden tribe. The Shirishama tribe. Basically, and make mm-hmm. a documentary about it. And so they, they, they're getting ready to get out of the way, and J-Lo looking elegant, as always. That's just my, yeah, my feelings just, about J-Lo. Just, <laughs> and then, uh, just, it's J-Lo. And then, uh, and then we meet Ice Cube, and I love this. He says, today is a good day. Just exclaims it. Yeah, well, today is a good day. And I'm like, yeah, because you're Ice Cube. Every day is a good day for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey. what it's like to be Ice Cube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And then Mateo, we meet Mateo, who is the dr- the driver, the boat captain. Mm-hmm. Uh, and or, I was... Or, uh, I wanted to call him, like, Peruvian Jesus or something yeah. like that. Yeah. He... That character, I was like, I don't know. I mean, I knew roughly where the movie was going, but I was like, I would not be remotely surprised if this movie ended with him just raping and murdering everybody on the boat because he's the creepiest looking dude. Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's got this weird look on his face all the time. And it can come to find out it's because he's in cahoots with John Voight and he's playing, scheming and whatnot. But he just looks so fucking off-putting all the time in the beginning of the movie. As you say, chef Hey! Mateo! Mamado! I, I think they paid him way under. <laughs> it's what happened. <laughs> like, they had such a small cast and they paid him way under. Yeah. That he's just like, fucking hate this movie anyways. <laughs> <laughs> this is dumb. I'm stupid. Kill you guys. <laughs> Alright, and then Owen Wilson and his girlfriend, who we didn't talk about because wow. I've never seen her. Wow. Um, I don't think I've ever seen her in anything. The nope. His girlfriend's this, sound... This editor. movie kind of buried her. <laughs> yeah. In the arms of the angel. Yeah, I was like, what is she... And she was not very good in this movie. She has a couple deliveries later on that I was like... Oh, right, oh. How dare you! It was you who brought that snake! You brought the devil! <laughs> So they get on their way. They get out. They, everybody's on the boat. They set up all their supplies. The boat is real dope. I like the boat. It's like this big, flat... Uh, they got like a big party patio in the back. Mm-hmm. And then the way this movie starts is really weird. Why are... They, it's like the whole first, like, ten minutes of, like, montage of them going down the river. It's like... Well, that one, it kicks off that music. And it's like... It's like the production company spent $30 and bought, like, the worst, like adventure free <laughs> free to play no royalty music they could find and slapped it in as they set out on their journey but well, then this film is there's only three films that they had to credit the rest of this is scored oh really yeah well that's what i mean that song that is scored oh well, yeah i don't know whatever that song like not not the new popular music right when they first start on the boat and there's like a couple shots of them leaving there's like this weird like really like terrible indiana jones cheesy ripoff music that's like but it's it's so bad it's like that's not good that's what is this our adventure begins 1000 miles from the mouth of the mighty amazon deep in the heart of the rainforest from here we will travel by river barge and then they uh but then every scene for like the first three scenes starts with them listening to loud music <laughs> like as they drive yeah. down the river oh. i'm like why is every well, what scene else are you gonna do they're like it's like with the sweet party barbs they got going on it's, here it's the 90s man yeah <laughs> they do they all they do for most of the beginning of the movie is just drink on this boat and listen to music Mm -hmm. it's like all right it sounds like a good time ice cube listening to his own rap music that's great you better say low before you get a halo plus wings in the gale when i come around so take 10 paces and try to hey 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 yeah, right. yeah, yeah, Ice Cube. Listen. So is the so if Ice Cube if they're listening to Ice Cube in a movie where Ice Cube is an actor is so Ice Cube exists in this universe, but it's not Ice Cube. That's confusing. I don't Whoa. understand, I don't understand yeah. that at all. Don't touch my radio. And then Owen Wilson is super horny. Is it just me, or does the jungle make you really, really horny? Oh no, I think it's the jungle. Because the jungle makes Owen Wilson horny. He's like, wow, we should go fuck, wow. (laughs) I'm hornier than the road lizard, or whatever the fuck he says. (laughs) 
He's crazy as a road lizard. You are crazier than a road lizard. He's crazy as road lizard. You're crazier than a road lizard. So then there's this random cut because he says to her, this is really weird. He goes, I'm really horny. You know, doesn't the jungle make you horny? And she goes, can you just let me work? And then it hard cuts lightning strike. I'm serious. I've got like one thing on my mind. <laughs> can I work, please? Like lightning strikes. And I'm like, what was that? You just not... We just, we're not done with that scene. We are done with that scene? All right, fine. We're just moving on. The, the, the yep. movie is... Yep. Uh, it's just bad. Damn, Kel, you look like a little low-budget-ass Jacques Cousteau did. So then the storm hits, and this is when they meet John Boy. Because... Oh, boy. That's when the, the movie gets... The best character fantastic. ever. So John Boyd is stranded on his boat. Mm -hmm. Stranded. And uh, they come pull over, and he throws his shit on the boat. And then the shot when he jump. leaps on Yes. Holy shit! It looks like he's. I was like that. If I if a guy leapt at me like that, I would be like, oh, this guy's a killer. <laughs> he looks insane, but he jumps on the boat. Mm -hmm. And this is when we let's 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 just discuss it now because uh, John Voight's accent right here. Where are you from, Mister Jerome? Paraguay. Really? I started out studying for the priesthood, but then I needed to see the real world. <laughs> he's from paraguay mm -hmm. he sounds to me now let's see this is how i i described it when i was watching it sounds like when i get drunk and try to do an imitation of inigo montoya <laughs> from the princess bride that is what <laughs> that's what john voight sounds like in this movie washing is illegal may i ask what uh what you are hunting? Hello! My name is Sinigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. He sounds insane. There gonna be a huge explosion. <laughs> he sounds <laughs> insane. It's always good to be prepared. Uh, like, legitimately, I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Like, like, what in the, like, somebody... I, I The casting director must have been either dead or... Or yeah. high. Why wouldn't you cast something. somebody in this? If you want them to be some South American like poacher. Yeah, and you know who would have been good for that? Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. <laughs> yeah. Who? Why did they kill him off in the beginning? Or fucking and it, so many options, but they go with John Voight, and it's like, what? I don't. It, okay, fine, <laughs> whatever. Well, but... he, okay, so John Voight is a snake hunter. He used to be a priest, and. What? <laughs> yeah, you didn't get that? He used to be a priest. I missed that. Oh, is that why priest. he's always saying like the Spiritu Sancti, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Stuff. Okay. Even though he's like leading people to their death yeah, yeah, and yeah, shooting yeah. people. Yeah. For the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Non departure, feel the Spiritu Sancti. So he's, he's there hunting snakes, and then somebody says, uh, Isn't that poaching? Poaching? Poaching is illegal. No, no, no. Poaching's illegal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what you did sounded a lot like poaching. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then he doesn't he doesn't address no, nothing about no. that's addressed. No. No. May I ask what uh, what you are hunting? We are not hunting or trapping anything. We're making a documentary on the Shirishama Indians. We have Jonathan Hyde as the host of this show, right? Yeah, he's like the yeah, the nature And uh, Eric Stoltz is the subject archaeologist or, or or probably not archaeologist uh or yeah i guess archaeologist whoever the people who study cultures or whatever yeah. uh, what are those called culturologist culturologist <laughs> so they're they're they had they had john boyd and john boyd's like we need to take this river and eric's also like no it's dangerous as shit let's take this way so then we, we there's also a scene real quick where they like where j-lo and eric stultz are into each other and i'm like what? For, for reasons for reasons and for he's reasons. like oh i missed you i missed you and I'm like, oh, you're not going to explain any? All right, fine. They're just into each other. And I'm like, yep. false. J-Lo is not into Eric Stoltz. Look at that man. <laughs> I mean, he's not awful, but... I'm surprised she's J -Lo. he doesn't burst into flames in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because when they later get him Maybe in... he does, and that's why they had to stick him in a room <laughs> the whole movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> just surprise! Eric Stoltz is not even in this fucking movie. Yeah, yeah. He he. The, so he like the rope gets tangled Man. in the the propeller. Yeah, yeah. They get caught. And then, oh, by the way, okay. This this happened earlier, and I just have to I just have yeah, to make yeah, a point of this. Fine. When you have characters who are smoking cigarettes and they're carrying around oxygen tanks for scuba, <laughs> yeah, scuba, bad what idea. the fuck? Bad idea, guys. <laughs> Real bad idea. You don't know anything about exposed flames and oxygen. T- oh yeah, cool. And so he puts on the scuba gear and starts cutting it out, and then he like looks like he's getting attacked by something. Yeah, I was so confused. Like, what is happening? They pull- is there demons? Did he use voodoo on him? <laughs> like, what? They pull him out and take off his breathing mask. <laughs> Fucking huge ass wasp in his, in his mouth. throat. Yes, <laughs> in his throat. A wasp was so. A wasp got in somehow. Hmm. Got in his <laughs> fucking uh, respirator and stung him in the throat. I will say I was I was pretty psyched about John Boy tricking him. Yeah, I was like, whoa, emergency <laughs> trick! Oh shit! <laughs> he grabs a knife and right in the neck, sticks yeah. the thing in, yeah. and he goes, "He'll be fine now." That's it. It's gonna be alright. And now nope. they no no nope. I know <laughs> and now they they do at least make a point of it because they uh, right before they trick him they go oh it's deadly it's deadly wasp wasp deadly poisonous venom whatever you know it, it, this is deadly and then they trick him and he goes he'll be fine now I'm like what about all the poison or whatever you know yeah, it's that. Fine. He's fine. But now they do kind of make a point. He, he's kind of like in a coma-ish. In the That's why he's not in the rest of the movie. He just spends it in his bunk in a fucking coma. <laughs> so as, as far as getting paid for this, I think uh, Eric Stoltz came out on top. Yeah. Did like the least amount of work. Yeah. I always wondered, I also wondered too if it was like the same situation as Back to the Future where they started shooting with him and they're like, well, this guy's fucking, I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, you know what? You get stung by a wasp and you're comatose. Get in that bed and uh, stay there. It's amazing. How the fuck did they get that bug? How the, how did they get that wasp in the mask? And he's down there for that long. Before it. He doesn't, he doesn't notice I, it. Yeah. So John Voight put it in there, spoiler later, yeah. is to, to sabotage him. And then he's like, so now we got to get him to the hospital. They don't get this man to the hospital. So I might as well uh, throw him in the river. Yeah. And the quickest way to the hospital is that route I was talking about the other day. It's way faster. Ooh. Cut back to this tree, Terry. Save us 50 miles. This is the route you suggested we take yesterday. And then, so that's what they decide to go take him to the hospital. And there's like snake statues everywhere, so you can tell there's, you know, shit's gonna hit the yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah. And then they they run into a big uh, barrier, a big gate, like a big, yeah, a big. What's wall. the solution? Blow, Blow the that shit out. up, man! Yep. Blow that fucker up! John Boyd has a bunch of dynamite. <laughs> well, let's just uh, see what we can do. Hey, is that real dynamite? Always got to be prepared. So yeah, they blow up this big thing, and uh, this With is a where... fuck ton of dynamite. Yeah, him and Owen Wilson get wow, <laughs> wow. I got dynamite, dynamite, wow. wow. And they get in, they jump in the uh, river, and they go to uh, scrap some bombs on this motherfucker. And I love this, like Owen Wilson's down there, and they they put it on, and then he's like, oh, there's something down here. There's something down there, and he starts to climb up, and then John Voight like looks at him. And it's like, yeah. That's right. No, no, seriously, there's something down there. He goes, yeah. <laughs> I really mean it. I really mean it too. <laughs> and, like, like, and then the scene ends. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> this, yeah, this film is great on the line deliveries. Oh, we also missed, there. there's the sweet scene. Or not missed, but uh, there's the sweet scene. I think it's before this. Yeah, it's right before this, where uh, they park for the night. And uh, Owen Wilson and his lady go to go to the bone oh, zone. Oh, God, Lord. They're like, we're going to go get some nature sounds. We're going to go out and get some wild sounds. Well, just be careful. And then they go out and they, they go out and they're going to start, like, fucking in the jungle. And then they, you, oh, they're going to get attacked by the anaconda. And then John Voight shows up with a gun. <laughs> and I thought, it's like, oh, God, John Voight's going to fucking kill him. Great. Now, he just a, shoots a boar. A boar was dragging. And he is dragging this boar effortlessly. <laughs> yeah. Effortlessly. Like, that thing probably weighs a f- couple hundred pounds, and he's just like, whoop! And I don't think boars are very uh, indigenous to that area. Yeah. They, they, they might be. Uh, but... <laughs> and that yeah. shot, the shot, there's a shot of when they leave. When I... John Boyd's 
face in this movie is the best thing. Is the best thing. There's a shot where when they're leaving to go bone, it cuts to John Voight in a hammock, and he's just like... He looks dead. And he doesn't move yeah. and she's just like... And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What is that? Why was that shot in the movie? Is he supposed to look like menacing? He looks dead. <laughs> oh, he says like, you know, they got the, they got the tusks and they go after your eyes. And I'm like... Gores with his tusks goes for the eyes. I don't think that's what they do. No. <laughs> I know. I was like, really no. disagree there. You, you got your saying. I feel like the, he wrote the... John Voight's character wrote the little anaconda thing at the beginning of this movie. I know <laughs> about snakes. I know so much about snakes. They, they, they're the most ruthless, fearsome... Predators on the I do I do good river movies. <laughs> Wait for uh, it. Wait for it. Deliverance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's right. After this, <laughs> I don't even know when this is, but it's it's like the it's again fucking John White staring at people. There's a shot oh, of J Lo is like sitting on the boat, and she's like messing with her hair. And then she yeah. looks up, and just John Voight. and John Voight is just. What? <laughs> Stationary, complete, just staring at her, and she doesn't re. She's like. <clears throat> And I, I really feel like there was a lot... I like to imagine John Voight stayed in character oh my God. in between takes. He, he and they're sitting there. Full Daniel Day-Lewis on them. <laughs> they're sitting there and they're like... They're like at the craft services table. John Voight's just sitting in the corner like... <laughs> they're like, John, you want, you want, you want some sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> like it's all the time. He just sits there and stares. So fucking ridiculous! All right, we gotta get through. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, As yeah. the boat's moving through, they come across. I, I was it. Was it their old boat? John Voight's and Mateo's old boat that they had with uh, Danny Trejo. Yes, probably. Yeah, I don't know. They, they need go, fuel. They, okay, yeah. Because when, when the, the bomb goes off, goes off we'll <laughs> they the, did not prepare for properly at all. <laughs> yeah, uh, all, all the uh, all the fuel tanks go off, and even though it's a river in the Amazon and probably only about five feet deep at most. <laughs> yeah, probably not. And also, deep. for some reason, the barrels don't float. Yeah, they would even float. Even though they're designed for that. Yeah, they would float. There's air in them. <laughs> but they lose their fuel. Okay. And I was like, yeah, they were so close to the bomb that it just fucking blows the shit out. And then snakes come flying out of everywhere. So it's raining snakes. And right before that, John Voight's eating an orange in the creepiest way that anybody has ever eaten an orange. This is the river you know. No. This is no. She's like... <laughs> goes, Godfather is it's... more savory than that. <laughs> this is the river you know. No. It's fucking... I can't get over everything John Voight does in the movie. So they come across this boat looking for yes. fuel. And John Voight finds... Was it a net? Is it a giant net? Or he finds he finds some snake hunting stuff. Oh, from, yeah, something from, from trapping equipment yeah. or something. And so he and uh, Ice Cube are, are pulling it ahead, and they're saying, telling my toy to get back. Thankfully, we were, I was waiting for bodies to start dropping in this movie. Yeah. Mateo is like the first person to get owned. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, because you know, you keep thinking somebody's going to die, and it takes quite a while for somebody to actually. I mean, other And he just. Things. He gets. Literally, his neck broken by a snake. It's pretty great. It's it's pretty so great. Dumb. Uh, and then, but because it, was the, was this the first time we saw the prosthetic snake? This is the first time we saw the CG snake. Yeah, because the first time we see the rubber snake is this. <laughs> With the fucking panther or whatever. We'll get more comments about whether it's a panther or a jaguar or whatever. But there's like a, a quick shot of a very obviously stuffed jaguar <laughs> being strangled to death by a very obviously rubber snake. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> like they like took at, a stuffed panther jaguar at, whatever at what point in shooting were they like this looks like fucking garbage i know they had to have been like this is awful like this is like they took a rubber snake wrapped it around a stuffed panther and are shaking it in front of the camera and they're like yep one, that's one, great once again major motion picture. yes major motion it's like yeah that looks great looks real good snakes the fucking egyptologist is sitting there and gets bit on the thumb oh my god yeah but he doesn't realize the snake was on his hand until it bites him he's like sitting there and he's like yeah ah oh it's biting my thumb <laughs> Sarone, help him get it off someone get this bloody thing off my freaking hand it's such a weird scene everything in this movie doesn't make any sense I don't understand any of it. <laughs> Get it off! So young. I guess so lethal. Uh, so they, they wait for... They think Montoya's... They think he's going to come back. Mateo, yeah. Montoya's going to come back. Now, this is and where so we they, find the picture where they are all yeah, grouped up. They, they wait the night. Yeah. And, of course, he's not going to come he's back because he's in a snake. snake. <laughs> yeah. This is when John Boyd takes control, like, even more so. Yeah. And we're... We're... We're going to go. We're going to go. He's dead. Let's go. Yeah. But something like this has made a meal of our dear captain. What? Snakes don't eat people. Oh, they don't? Don't make me out a monster. I didn't eat the captain, Mateo. Is it that night that he, like, coerces Owen, Owen Wilson? Wilson? Yeah, he, So he co- coerces Owen Wilson with uh, the promise so, of money? And... More money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they, they have a mutiny and take control of the boat. Yeah. He they basically he's like he he and this is a thing where it's like character development movie. You set you all all you have to do to make the Owen Wilson deciding to like be on his side work is make one little offhand mention of how Owen Wilson is like owes somebody a lot of money or is really in debt or really really needs a big payout because he says like you know what I mean. And then we'll be like, oh, it makes a little more sense that Owen Wilson is like, yeah, we should listen to this guy because he wants in on that snake money. But there's no setup for that. He's just like, oh, I'll do whichever you say, John Voight. You gave me some wine. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <clears throat> yeah, they take over the boat. Yeah, basically. and they get to the point where they're trying to trap the snake, and I'm just trying to get through this as quickly as possible because this is where it gets fucking amazingly yeah. Stupid. They sh- they uh, trap it with they John Voight kills a monkey. <laughs> He shoots it. Yeah. And says, anaconda bait. Bait. Anaconda bait. <laughs> Can't catch anacondas without bait. And they put it on a hook. Yeah, and then they fucking fish, fish. for the fucking anaconda. It's like, and the way they're doing it, it's like they're bass fishing. They're, they're, yeah. doing, they're doing like a sinker and just yeah, dragging it. he's like it. trolling it. Yeah. And then he fucking gets it on the line. He's like... Bruh. So and what what what's the best way to what's the best way to trap these snakes? You should blind them with blind lights. Light. That's it. That's it. Open the eyes. Open the eyes. Man. Blind it. Oh, you shit your boy. Hey. Man, gotta be crazy. That's a thing. Is that a thing? That's a thing. He's like, get it in their eyes. Their eyes. Get the lights and on then their he, eyes. He, I also love. There's so many times where Ice Cube is just the audience. He, I, I'm convinced that they did not give Ice Cube lines. They just put him on the boat and said, react to things that go on. Because there's so many times or, where he's like... Or they handed him to the complete script. Yeah. And he was like, this, this is fucking nonsense. <laughs> this is stupid. Because there's one point he's on the thing. He's like, when did this shit go from getting the Eric Stoltz to the hospital to trying to catch a snake? Yo, hold up. How we go from taking Kill to the hospital to catching a goddamn snake? What the fuck? going on and he's like just like what the fuck is going on all the time man what the fuck are you doing and i'm like yeah ice cube i also want to know what the fuck is going on i know what i'm gonna do i'm about to throw both of y'all son of a bitches in the river myself snake pukes a monkey on the egyptologist <laughs> that was amazing <laughs> Throw a wet stuffed <laughs> monkey at the Egyptologist's face. In the arms of the angel, fly away. 
<laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And then uh, it, uh, yeah. people are needing to get back uh, the, the, the the Owen Wilson's gets, love interest gets thrown into the river. No, no, that's way later. That's way oh, later. she gets thrown into the river. You're right. And he jumps in to yeah, he jumps yeah, in to sorry, save her yeah. and he gets her in. And then Owen Wilson gets wrapped up and eaten by this oh, snake. Gets bit in the face. <laughs> I'm just gonna open this boat. Wow, look at this snake. <laughs> wow. And then, and then yeah, I, I, okay. And then so after he gets eaten, it cuts underwater. <laughs> and the snake swims by the camera. <laughs> and John fucking Owen Wilson's face. The <laughs> only thing I could think of, the only thing I could hear in my own head that entire time was. Wow. <laughs> I know. That's so good. So just, I mean, if that edit doesn't exist, I mean it's going to after I do it. But if that, I can't believe that that edit doesn't exist of Owen Wilson going by the camera and just like a muffled. <laughs> That's the best thing ever. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mateo, what's up? I mean, Owen Wilson got out lucky. Like, halfway through the movie, he got the peace out and be like, I see you guys. I'm going to go hang out yeah. with Jackie Chan and make a movie about cowboys and kung fu. Fuck you guys. My name's John Wen. John Wayne? John Wen. <laughs> That's a terrible cowboy name. <laughs> Shanghai oh, Noon. Great movie. Oh, God. They get to, they get this to the is point. where they, yeah, this is the part where uh, they, they... They need to take back control of the ship. Yeah. So... And so J-Lo goes to sit <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. This is the worst thing that's ever been put on film. This <sighs> J-Lo seducing John Voight. Capturing the snake and then... It wouldn't have all been for nothing. J-Lo seducing, not bad. J-Lo seducing no, John Voight, sorry. Yes. very bad. The worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> he starts kissing her. <laughs> like, nope, nope, nope. This is like watching Neil Breen finger somebody. I <laughs> do not need this in my life. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> and then she also, I love she has this line. She goes, I don't know if you know, but this, this film was supposed to be my big break. This turned out to be a big disaster. I'm like, that's the understated the end of the century. Like, two <laughs> two of your crew have been eaten alive by That is, that is the most honest acting yeah. in this whole film. Yeah. <laughs> Jayla. Again, there's so many lines that the people could just be saying, Jayla, this is supposed to be my big break, but this is a fucking I, I, I will disaster. say, this is Jonathan Hyde's moment to shine. Yeah. Because Ice Cube comes in, yeah. and he, like, points a gun at him. But Jonathan Hyde bashes his skull in. <laughs> Through a window, Through a window with a, with golf, a club. golf club because he's been golfing this whole time. Uh, and I love he goes. Should I hit him again to make sure? Oh, yes, yes, you should. You should absolutely hit him again. Oh, and he gets to yell "asshole" in one. Asshole in one. <laughs> they tie up Jonathan Voight or John Voight uh, on this pole, like sitting on the ground with his arms tied behind his back, and he's just mil he's milking the face work. He can't move, so it's just the face work. His face earns the paycheck. It earned earned the paycheck he got for this movie, like. It is it is working overtime. They run aground after a while. Yeah. They are by they're they're in like kind of like a lagoonish kind yeah, of Yeah, it's setting. got like a waterfall. So they, they they messed up and now they need to get out. So they're getting some ropes together yeah, to, to, to winch undo this. To like winch themselves out. Let's go let's go swimming in the snake infested waters. Yeah. And the guy says just last time I was in water like this, I was up all night picking leeches off my scrotum. I'm like, how big is your scrotum? <laughs> All night, there's like a couple inches. Just pull them off, you weirdo. So they go in the water, and uh, they start tying the thing down. And while does they're not take long, no, it does not take long for that snake to show up. No, well, and, and but more importantly, first, uh, John Voight. Uh, so what's her name is on the boat still. Yeah, I don't she, know her name. She, Owen Wilson's woman. Yeah, she angry. And she real she, mad at John Voight. She real mad at John Voight. <laughs> she she blames him for Owen Wilson dying. 
Uh, and so she comes at him with a knife. Even though there's a rifle on the boat. Yeah, she could just shoot him. But she comes at him with a knife. And this is fucking insanity. John Boy <laughs> got some acrobatic skills. He leaps up like four, five, six feet into the air and wraps his meaty thighs around her neck. Chokes her to death with his thoughts. I want it's everybody amazing. to know this about John Voight. <laughs> that man has got muscular thighs. Oh my god, it's so hilarious. <laughs> and then and then he, th- he kicks her overboard. And there's this very, I love, there you, you hear a splash and everybody out in the water turns around. And I'm like, nah. And I'm like, yeah, let's all just ignore that body-sized splashing noise back by the boat. I'm sure that's not important. As a, at, well, Okay, so the snake's coming yeah. and uh, Ice Cube and Jayla get on the boat. Jonathan Hyde's like trying to get the snake's attention. I'm like, you're not near shore. No, Don't do that. No, he's like, yeah, come get me. I'm like, you're just in the middle. You're going to get eaten by a snake. Okay, fine. That's a bad idea. So then he starts running and goes to climb this waterfall. Mm. Which his death is glorious. So he gets up on the waterfall, and then they get back to the boat, I think, and realize that John Voight's kill and killed her. And Oh, and because he, he gets a knife from her, and he yeah, cuts yeah. himself free. He stabs Ice Cube in the leg. <laughs> yeah, right in the fucking... Ugh. Right in the leg. So then uh, John and then Hyde, the snake, comes after him, and uh, the Egyptologist, and he jumps out of the waterfall to try to escape, and the fucking snake snatches him out of midair. <laughs> And apparently this is enough weight to bring down the tree. Yeah. That the snake yeah, and onto the to. boat, and then and then J-Lo shoots the snake in the face. Yeah, yeah, because the snake's, now that the guy's dead, you yeah. know, the snake's after food. Yeah. It's not, That's it's, the other thing. This movie's all bullshit, because once the snake eats, it's they're good for, for like months, a week. Months. Yeah, or, or months, depending on how big of a, yeah. But it just keeps eating people. Okay. So she fucking shoots it in the face and its brain explodes. But you know, obviously there's another snake, you know. Yeah. It's gonna be another snake. Yeah, exactly. not, The movie's not over. There's 20 minutes left. Uh, and then, so John Voight, there's a big... Sh- sh- he's free struggle. now. There's yeah. a big struggle over the gun and stuff. And, and fucking <laughs> Eric Stoltz. <Soltz. laughs> Comes out, apparently the tree crashing it, onto their boat did, woke him er- up. Eric Schultz in day uh, six of shooting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> finally gets to be back in the movie again <laughs> shows up with a trank dart and hits him in the back because in that in that case of snake hunting stuff they he had l- reptile, reptile tranquilizer, tranquilizer. <laughs> what still no my tail and he gets John Voight in the be- in the neck with it and John Voight like passes out and falls into the water and then they go oh no but the dart fell out it's like but it already got him he already is unconscious yeah like, that's, what does... the, that's what the the blur in the <laughs> yeah, motion show yeah was. like so it doesn't matter if the dart fell out he already got hit with the trank he's gonna drown <laughs> like that's <laughs> what should have happened in that moment so they're they they get n- now severely bleeding eric stoltz <laughs> yeah and they're leaving. And as they leave, because the, the tree knocked him loose, yeah. as they leave, the shot is literally a <laughs> it's literally a reverse shot of them beaching themselves. <laughs> the waterfall's going up. I think the, <laughs> I think the tree might even still be up there. Like you can see oh a tree that God. fell over. That's so lazy. <laughs> so stupid such... somebody didn't check their shot list that yeah long. right <laughs> like uh we got everything yeah we got everything what's this one now nah, fucking cares uh, oh where they leave no you could just not show yeah, them you leaving you don't even need to you don't need that shot it's unnecessary it's so much worse to put a shot in with a fucking waterfall going up in the background <laughs> than it is to just leave that shot out we get that they're leaving so they get to this old lumber mill to get fuel which of course there's a shitload of fuel there why, why yeah not? Because, you know... This place has been in disarray for only a couple of decades. Yeah. 
And there's a shot, just real quick, there's a shot where right when they're setting, when they're getting into this place, that's just a spinny shot of like either water or sky. For like eight seconds, I'm like, what yeah. am I even looking well, at? This is So nothing. many times they just do like a woo. Woo! It's so... It's the 90s, man. It's so unsettling. <laughs> So then John Voight shows back up. They get in there like, oh, sweet fuel, and he butts, rifle butts them. Yeah. And then he ties them up. And then... And then <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that anacondas hunt via blood. <sighs> They're real into monkey blood. So guess who gets a monkey blood bath? Our two protagonists. Time to wake up. Monkey blood. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's monkey blood. And uh, then so he's using them as bait to yeah, catch the snake. Yeah. He has a bitching crossbow. Yeah. This Derek, little trank. Daryl Dixon's got nothing on yeah, John It was Boyd. a little bitch made crossbow. It's a tiny little trank one. Yeah, but, but it's got tranks on it, man. Yeah. Um, you don't want to trank a zombie. <laughs> what he, would be the point? <laughs> he, uh, they're under a net. Like they have this huge net set up to yeah. catch his anaconda. Yeah. So and so he, he, the anaconda gets there, wraps yeah. him up, and then John Boyd. Like and bitching, like leaps Jumps off, down and yeah, pulls it, pulls it up. swings, and they're like stuck <laughs> in a net with the anaconda. Yeah, <laughs> which is hilarious. Uh, the anaconda gets out and goes after John Wait. Yes, but as oh. he as he leaves, Ice Cube like kicks the the pulley system to yeah. bring up the net. He's like, oh, he's like, fucking, oh, there's no, a little net, net in my way, but he can there's go around it. Way. Yes, <laughs> it's just covered. The, the shot that we can see, but it's very clearly obvious that he could just go. Oh no! Whoop! Net, net. Go around it, but he's like, ah, no! Ah. So he, he gets, he gets the stick wrapped around him, and, and some of the greatest faces I've ever seen oh, in a movie. Oh God! Well, he and gets, there's that shot of the down the esophagus of the <laughs> snake. I was like, oh, right? I never need. When, whenever this it. turned into prosthetic, John Voight, that was fucking. Yes, dope. and his head's all like. <laughs> so he gets like snapped into eight pieces and then uh swallowed by the snake. And then the snake, of course, it's a vicious killer. He's got to keep going, even so, though it just ate so a instead person. Of, instead of going after the clearly wounded ice cube, it's yes. going after J Lo. <laughs> yes. As it breaks through a a window or, or a, a wall or something, mirror, yeah, I don't know. Know. it regurgitates John Voight. <laughs> this is the best thing. We get CG. <laughs> we get late '90s CGI John Voight. Well, and then and then it turns into really crazy, gross makeup. Slimy John Voight, I yeah, think. Yeah. Like after well, he the, lands. and then he blinks. And then he no, he winks. Wait, at is her. it a blink or a wink? I'm pretty sure he winks at her like, hey. What? I know. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what? For one thing, the fucking snake broke his back like eight times. Like he sna like strangles the shit out of him. But it like lands on her. He like, boy's body lands on her. And he's like all gross. And he winks at her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As she's running, Ice Cube picks up. He gets a pickaxe. A yeah, pickaxe. Yeah. And something straight out of fucking Looney Tunes. He puts the pickaxe <laughs> into the snake's tail. tail. And it's like, ee, ee, ee. Ee. <laughs> So this whole time though, we're getting ready. I'm like, oh, we gotta, we're gonna, cause like J Lo's climbing the silo or the like smokestack to get out the top, and 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 I keep waiting. So I'm like, we're getting to the, it's, it's building up, it's building up, and I'm like, oh, we're gonna get a fucking amazing one liner from Ice Cube. Like he's gonna say something great. It's gonna save the movie. Send us all out on a good note. And then so some bullshit happens, the snake catches fire, falls out of the thing on fire, flapping through the air, which is kind of great. And then lands in the water, and they're like, woo. And I was like, no one-liner. Oh. Well, the snake doesn't go completely in the water. It has to stay up and burn a yeah, lot Yeah, burn a lot for a minute, and then goes in the water. And you're like, oh, it's over. And I'm like, but we didn't get a one-liner. And then, because, that's what you gotta do, snake fucking pops its head through the boards, and yeah. like goes after J-Lo. And I'm like, yes, still chance for a one-liner. Fucking Ice Cube grabs an axe, slams an axe into its head, kills it, 
And that's it. And says, bitch. Bitch. Let's uh, oh! let's let's go ahead and redo Ice Cube's one liner. Give me. Looks like you got a splitting headache, bitch. Better <laughs> or something. I got I, I got I got go. a better one. You're the only cold blooded killer. Ho! Oh, that's the winner. Scratch it. Write it. Done. I'm Ice Cube. And then we get to National Geographic boobies. Movies over. Woohoo! All right, <laughs> that's, the, that's the end of that movie. You're like, you know, because they find the tribe. They find for the tribe. Reason, even though I guess they have a camera still. Somehow that. Yeah. Whatever. But it, it doesn't. Fuck it. The climax. Who's gonna, who's gonna run boring. audio? Okay. <laughs> well, there's a shot. There's real quick. There's a thing earlier where they go into that boat and 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 what's his name? Like uh, Ice Cube's like, I gotta get this on camera. And the girl's like, you want any audio? And he's like, nah, nah. And he says something, but I couldn't understand what he said. You get this on film. You don't need sound, do you? No, I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. John Voight is the best part of <laughs> John Voight is John amazing. Boyd. John Voight's a fucking man. This movie, uh, let's get to the, 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 our uh, verdict. Uh, it's good, bad. Oh, yeah, it's, it's great, good, man. bad. This, this is, is great. a good, bad movie, I love man. This it's a real good, good, bad movie. It's a <laughs> terrible movie, but man, it's John Voight is, it's, he's, <laughs> watching him play this character. His overacting is on par with Nicolas Cage. It's mind blowing. I was blown away by how fucking insane he was in this movie. I thought I had a note about him that I didn't even get to. This movie's great. Uh, it's great, bad. It's good, bad. It's a good movie. It's got snakes. It's got Owen Wilson. Wow. It's got John Voight. It's got, it's got, o- J-Lo. It's got Owen you know Wilson in a snake. <laughs> enough shots of JLo's butt. Come on. It's yeah. like the most famous ass in the world at the time. You're not going to ever have her wear anything where you see it. Get it together, movie. Whatever. (laughs) Get it together. Come on. Movie producer, Brian. (laughs) Just say it. (laughs) So until next time, keep watching movies, especially Anaconda. Or anything with Owen Wilson in it. (laughs) Wow. He's crazier than a road lizard. The snake's really bright on the inside. Wow. Wow. The snake's so big. Wow. Wow. It's like a condom for me. Wow. Wow. I can't wait to meet Jackie Chan. Wow. Anton Bauer, if you're alive, I know you are. I know you're out there somewhere. Definitely watching. Go fuck yourself. Your batteries suck ass. <laughs> All right. I did we notice d- that We he's... know how much their batteries suck because we use them constantly throughout film school. Oh, is that what they those kept, battery they kept, pack things? They kept dying and the belts were heavy as I shit. Because I, I remember he has that one scene where he's got the big belt of batteries on his shoulder and I was like, we had those. I remember yeah. using those. I mean, <laughs> those. Those batteries are terrible. Yeah, they are. They're fucking useless. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what that was. That's hilarious. Anyways, that's me. That's <laughs> Get a little me, uh, soapbox. <laughs>